sweet tempia my name is Aida and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make empanadillas de pizza or pizza empanadas they are super easy to make and they taste very very yummy these are the ingredients we're gonna be using today here I have 10 dough for pastry so masa para empanada if you can find these I have I'll leave a link down below on how to make your own empanada dough here I have about two cups of finely shredded you need the, the finely shredded mozzarella cheese. About two teaspoons of oregano, garlic powder, and this is just jarred pizza sauce that I bought, and some water. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start. This is how the empanada dough looks. It's at room temperature. I buy them in the frozen section of my grocery store, and I just put them in the fridge let them defrost in the fridge and then about an hour before I'm gonna start making them I leave them outside so they can be room temperature so we're going to start you do a little assembly line and we first start and we are only gonna put it on half because remember we are going to fold them so folding them we're only gonna put stuff right here you can do like a little handful of cheese I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese in a bit one tablespoon of the jarred pizza sauce you don't want that much sauce because remember we're going to fry these so you don't want um, them to explode in while you're frying just a pinch a little bit of oregano a little bit of garlic powder not that much and then a little bit more cheese because we like cheese You can make it your own. I mean, you can use any cheese you want. You can, this type of dough, you can put almost anything in it and fry it. But these are my favorite. I used to have these um, growing up in merienda, which is our recess. We're going to wet the edges. And this is the best. Empanadilla de pizza with a nice, cold, old colony de uva, which is a grape soda or orange soda or even a malta so I just wet the edges carefully now we're going to close it so making sure that you press out you leave the filling in the middle making sure that you take out all the air because you don't want air pockets either because then the empanada will pop when you fry them so I'm going to move it a little forward I'm going to wet another edge again oh, this is I'm gonna move them and then with an, a fork I'm just going to crimp them shut don't worry that there's more water there's a little bit of water there don't worry the dough will absorb it so you go and don't worry if this happens you see that a little bit of sauce fell just as long as it's not cheese that it'll burn in the in the oil you're fine and these are for you and they're not gonna last that much so people won't be able to oh look there's cheese outside no they're gonna be eaten so here you go I'm gonna show you another one just real quick wet the edge real fast cheese one tablespoon of the sauce remember not that much sauce just put it on top and I, I told you to use the finely shredded cheese because then since they fry so quickly you want the cheese to melt so if you have um, the finely shredded cheese it'll melt, melt much faster cheese and then we will close it remember making sure that the, all the air is out you see like I'm containing the sauce and the cheese in the little empanada making sure with the edge a little bit more and now we crimp it so now is a good time to start heating a pan with oil I use canola oil maybe about an inch of canola oil at a medium high heat while you start uh, while you finish all the rest of your empanada so we'll be back when these are done okay so here are all 10 of the empanadillas ready to be fried here I have, like I said, one inch of water, water, of oil, 
when it's, see I'm so excited I can't wait to, to eat them my stove it's at a medium high so my stove goes from 0 to 10 and it's at a 6 right now so we're just gonna that's what you want and we're just going to don't overcrowd them see make sure that they're nice and sealed which they are of course I made them they're gonna be nice and sealed I would just put three and you just fry until golden maybe a couple of minutes on each side and since they don't have that much cheese and sauce everything will get nice and hot so we will be back when we have to flip these so it's been like a couple of minutes and look at this this is what you want that light golden brown because if not they're gonna taste burnt obviously so I will keep on flipping and I will make the rest and I will meet you when I eat one. Okay, so here you have them. All 10 beautiful empanadillas de pizza. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Buen provecho. Oh, and subscribe to my channel. After this, there's going to be a little box that's going to say subscribe. Click on that. No, I have to try it. Wait. Tell me, that is not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. You know, I'm going to burn myself like I always do. So good. Try it.